Hi, I'm Sifu Keith Maz of Traditional Wing Chun Kung Fu Academy in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Right now we're going to speak about how to punch and kick faster. Okay, right now let's begin our work on how to punch faster. Rob, can you take a good front stance for me? Okay, the key in learning how to punch faster is one how to relax the chest and the shoulders, and the key here is to relax the bicep, a nice tight fist. The key element in punching is your tricep. The tricep has three heads, and the muscles used to elongate the arm. The bicep is for contraction, so what we're going to focus on is using our tricep when we punch. I'd like to give you a drill called numeric punching. It's called punching for punching in sequence. So Rob, please, one, one, two, one, two, three. Again, one, one, two, one, two, three. So learning how to punch in sequence and learn how to relax the tricep can be used in any pugilistic form of boxing, whether it's Western boxing, Chinese form, Kung Fu, Karate, any of the Korean arts, anything that you're going to use to throw a punch. Can you just demonstrate some Western boxing, a jab for me, please? Jab, jab, now jab, cross. See, as you can tell, no matter how you punch, the tricep is involved in extending the arm. What we're going to work on next is an exercise which is key for developing your tricep, developing speed and power in your punch, and also keep you from hurting your arms. So now we're going to work on the exercise, develop speed and power, and prevent injury while you punch. Rob, would you please take your position on the wall with your arms nice and tight, elbows pointing down. As you perform your motion, what you want to do is come into a five second count. So time to yourself, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000. Elbows are in and down. Pause for a moment. And we'll go out through a five count. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000. When you perform this exercise, you want to do 50 or five minutes, whatever comes last. So if you're working each one for 10 seconds, doing 50 repetitions will be a greater range of motion and a longer time period. Now let's look how to develop speed and power in your kicking. There are two ways to train your kicks with speed and power. The first one is to execute your kick and hold. You can hold the kick, you can start with two seconds and work your way up to 30 seconds. So Rob, would you demonstrate a front kick, please? You hold your kick locked out as long as you can. Two second hold is good to start with, like I said, work your progression up to 30 seconds. Now when it comes to developing speed, ideally you want to work on your retraction just as fast as your extension. So please, Rob, kick. So when you contract, you really want to focus on training your hamstrings. So the pullback will help you develop more speed for the extension. What we're going to work on next is an exercise that will help with both speed, strength, and also protect your knees to prevent damage while kicking. The exercise that we're going to perform now is the Hindu squat. It's an excellent exercise for overall development of your legs, developing both speed, power, and endurance. Rob, please demonstrate a front view. So he's going to keep his feet a little wider than shoulder width, and once he comes up, he's going to come up on his toes, developing his hamstrings, his calves, and his quadriceps. You want to start with 10 repetitions and work your way up to sets of 100. Rob, can you please do it sideways? So notice his back is straight. He breaks parallel, then comes up on his toes. One more, please. Excellent. Once again, this is the Hindu squat. This was how to develop faster kicks and punches. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please visit our website at www.traditionalwingchun.com. And I'm Sifu Keith Mazza from the Traditional Wing Chun Kung Fu Academy in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Thank you.